Hi, a primary two, Miss Faithney here. It's so nice to see you. Now, this is the first of my seesaw videos. I'm gonna post one every Tuesday. It could be me doing some movement like today where you see my face, or it could just be my voice. It could be a health and wellbeing video, a sciences video, or an arts video. So keep your eyes peeled. Today, we're gonna do some movement and we're gonna need a little bit of space, but not too much and make sure you're wearing something comfortable. So if you need to pause the video to get changed or to find a wee room now, you can do that. Otherwise, let's get started. Now, I don't know about you, but when lockdown hit again, I felt so grumpy, but I also felt quite happy, but I also felt a bit confused. And I was a bit all over the shop, to be honest. I had a swirl of emotions in my head, and I'm sure you all did too. On the one hand, I was grumpy because I was really, really annoyed that this was still going on. But on the other hand, I was happy because it meant I got to do cool things like this on Seesaw. But then on the other hand, I was frustrated and sad because I wasn't able to see you guys on a Monday or a Tuesday. But then I was also quite excited because it meant that whilst I was communicating with everybody on Seesaw, I could also do it in my pyjamas. But don't tell Miss Brown I said that, okay? Now, this big swirl of emotions sometimes leaves us a little bit poof, deflated. It can make us feel exhausted. And it sometimes is really hard to get out of this state of mind when we're feeling up and down all at the same time. And I know the best thing to do for me is a little bit of movement. So, when you're ready, find a wee space and we're gonna do some emotions yoga. Okay. The first thing we're gonna do is just take a little sit down. Cross your legs and let your hands rest wherever is comfortable, okay? Close your eyes. Take a big breath in through your nose and take a big sigh out your mouth. I wonder if you can sense what feeling you have right now. Are you feeling a little bit frustrated because all you want to do is play on your computer games, but you've got to do schoolwork? Or are you feeling quite excited about doing a seesaw video? Try and figure out what emotion you're feeling right now. And what we're gonna do is we are going to embrace that emotion. So instead of trying to feel something else completely, just feel it. If you're feeling frustrated, go for it. If you're grumpy, go for it. If you're excited, go for it. But try and have that feeling whilst you're sitting on your bottom without moving, doing or making any noise. Now, I want you to imagine that that feeling is in your belly. Take a big breath in through your nose and we're gonna push that feeling out through our mouth when we breathe out, ready? <sighs> okay, open your eyes and come to stand on your feet. Now, we're gonna start with the first feeling I had when I heard about lockdown. Grumpy gorilla, take your feet really wide and turn your toes outwards so they're facing into opposite directions just about. Now bend your knees and bend your elbows and tickle your armpits, just like a gorilla would. <gasps> I don't know if gorillas tickle their armpits, but they look like they do. Now, from here, you need to move from side to side, but don't pick up your toes. Imagine your grumpy gorilla's toes are super glued to the floor. Move from side to side, and you can feel your legs getting a really good stretch here. Now grumpy gorillas do something, they make a lot of noise and they beat their chest. Now if you've got anyone that's doing work next door, you might need to do this quietly, maybe silently. But if you're in the garden, or if you're allowed to make some noise, then you can really go for it. We're going to beat our chest and go grrrr. Three, two, one, grrrr. Can you do that again? Three, two, one, grrrr. Do you feel some of that grumpiness disappearing? I hope so. Now the next one we're gonna do is a slightly calmer and caring koala pose. 
Caring koala is a bit of a tricky balance, so make sure you're not staring at something that's moving. Find something that is totally still, maybe a point on the wall. Press down into one of your feet and then cross your other leg over the top of your leg. Now, you can take that foot to the floor if you feel wobbly or you can keep it hovering. Can you bend your standing leg a little more? Caring koalas like to give a big cuddle, so wrap your arms around your body, give yourself a squeeze. Maybe you can double wrap, whoa, this fake knee's gonna fall, double wrap your foot around your leg. Sink a little lower, three, two, one, and release. Now, we have to even it up because one of our legs is feeling very long. So, do the same on the opposite leg. Stand firmly, cross your leg over, wrap your arms around your body, and maybe even double wrap. Sink a little lower, give yourself a squeeze and a wobble, and release. Okay, now if you want to try that one more time, you could try it a little harder. Maybe you could even close your eyes. Okay, the next pose we're gonna do after carrying koala is frustrated frog. For frustrated frog, take your feet a little wider and bend all the way down to the ground. Make sure your bottom's not sitting on the floor. You want to lift it up just a touch. Take your hands down to the ground and make a big frustrated frog frown with your face. See if you can really wrinkle your eyebrows together. Arr, very frustrated. Now, to make our frustrated frog less frustrated, I want you to do a little jump, just a wee one, and don't lift your toes off the floor just yet. Can you go a bit higher? Can you go even higher? Can you jump so high that you almost touch the roof? Three, two, one. Wow, that was amazing. You can keep doing this move for as long as you want to until you feel less frustrated. Now from frustrated frog, we're gonna do a much calmer pose. We're going to do happy hedgehog. For happy hedgehog, come and sit down on your feet with your knees nice and wide and walk your hands down in front of you and then take your forehead down to the floor. If you want to make your hedgehog even smaller, you can bring your knees together nice and tightly and you can send your hands back in space and you can let your chin rest between your knees. Now, happy hedgehog is such a calming pose that you might feel like you need to do a big yawn. <sighs> From happy hedgehog, come up to sit on your bottom, walk your hands in front of you, and this is a pose you all know very well we are going to come into excited elephant pose, which is the same as dog pose. So tuck your toes, lift your bottom to the sky and let your head hang in between your arms. How do we turn this dog into an elephant, do you think? We need to lift up one of our feet and wiggle our toes and our legs around just like a trunk on an elephant. You can even make a nice excited elephant sound if you want to. Swap your feet over and put your other foot in the air. Wiggle it around, very good. And place it back down on the floor. Now from here, we are going to do an excited elephant jump to the front of our mat and sit down on our bottoms. Come to lie all the way down on your back and push your feet away from you as if your feet are stretching to the other side of the room. Now stretch your arms up and back behind you. Try and make your body as long as you can. This is calm cat pose. Calm cats are not only calm, but they are super cool. Notice how when you lie in calm cat pose, your body temperature starts to go down. You start to feel a little cooler after feeling a bit hot and bothered in the other poses. Take a big breath in through your nose and let all the breath out through your mouth. Notice how when you make a big sigh like that, 
your whole body softens. Let's do one more cam cat yawn. Big breath in through your nose and sigh. Oh, I could lie in cam cat pose forever. If you have a cat at home, your cat might be doing this right now, stretching out their body. From here, I want you to put your hands on your belly and then bend your knees so that your feet are on the floor. Now, walk your feet really wide and knock your knees together so they make a little tent. Now this is going to be our final resting pose. Who can remember what the resting pose in yoga is called? I bet some of you can. Push your feet away from you so you're nice and calm and we're in Shavasana. Now, if you remember from yoga last year, you can stay in Shavasana for ages if you want to, and you can let yourself get really calm and really quiet. Take a wee moment to think about what emotion or what feeling you're feeling now. At the beginning of the class, you might have been feeling a little grumpy or tired or frustrated or annoyed. Has your emotion changed? Now you don't need to say what it is, you can keep it in your head if you want to. When you're ready, start to wiggle your toes and your fingertips. Make yourself into a little ball, hugging your knees into your chest. And then roll to one side and push yourself into a seat with your legs crossed. Let's take a big breath in and reach our arms up to the sky. Make a big rainbow with our arms as you breathe out. <sighs> that's better. Right, everybody, that's the end of our emotions and feelings yoga class. If you want to try it again and perfect some of the poses, maybe even the wobbly ones, you can give that a wee shot now. Now remember, does perfect mean you can do it without wobbling or without falling over or with everything perfect? Nah, not at all. Perfect means you're having a great time and you're trying really hard. Well done. If you want to take some pictures and send them to Sea Salt, we would love to see them. Okay, everybody, have a really brilliant week and I'll see you next Tuesday. Lots of love. Bye.